Information Center, NRC, IRA, uh, IRA and uh, MRAC programs. I would like to talk today about how they bring a concrete concept using the geopolymer technology, application of geopolymer technology in civil engineering, and uh, uh, we discuss it using all the ash concrete for a garage, a green garage project. Concrete, Portland cement based concrete, is very older materials. Uh, if we talk about the concrete, its uh, materials include all the different companies. Based on them, it's Portland cement, water, aggregate, different type of the admixtures, it could be mineral admixtures and chemical admixtures. There is different type of the concrete. Normal concrete is usually compressive strength uh, up to 50 MPa. High performance concrete is compressive strength more than 50 MPa. Lightweight concrete and self uh, leveling concrete. Short information about of the very older and new uh, uh, concrete materials. Uh, concrete is the uh, second most consummate uh, materials only after water. Any reuse of the uh, concrete reach of the more than 5 billion cubic meters. We use it in concrete and very long period of the times, minimum 2,000 years. But for production of the concrete, we need to use huge content of the natural resource, like it took different type of the uh, natural rocks, limestone, clay, sand, and water. Very important component of the concrete is Portland cement, its binder. For production of the uh, Portland cement, we're using of the huge content of limestone and clay. Uh, Portland cement production is very high energy process. We talk about the heat treatment and temperature between 100, uh, 1,500 degrees Celsius up to 1,650 degrees Celsius. Another very huge pro uh, problem is production of the cement connected to producing of the huge content of uh, a green gas. We talk about the 8 up to 10 percent of the world CO2 related uh, to production of the cement. There is a different way to do it, our uh, more popular concrete uh, building materials to be more green. One of them is using of the maximum using of the recycled materials. Concrete by itself include about 75 up to 80 percent of the aggregate. What we can to do? One of the way is uh, starting to use a recycled concrete as a replacement of the aggregate. Another way is to use of the recycled glass, recycled uh, uh, rubber for aggregate. However, we have some limitations. Using of the recycled uh, products could be have a different uh, negative effect on mechanical, physical, and durability properties. It means we don't have one to condition when we replace 100% of the aggregate by recycled product. For enforcement on concrete, we usually use of the standard fibers, polypropylene steel fibers, carbon fibers. Another idea starting to use at uh, recycled fibers, like at FRP, carpet, and bulk fibers. However, we have a problems. According to research was done by CIC and another research institute, <coughs> we have limitation in using all the recycled FRP fibers in concrete at point of the alkali silico reaction between fibers and at cement matrix. Another way to do it our concrete to be more green, more eco-friendly, it's using also less content of the cement. What does it mean use less content of the cement? We need to reach all the strength. So what we can do is replacement of the part of the Portland cement by another uh, uh, supplementary cement materials. For this reason, we have options to use at uh, flash, blast furnace slug, silica fume, or metacolloid. However, our maximum replacement of the cement by a, another type of the pozzolanic admixture, so by products, could be not more than 50%. Only by this uh, uh, formulation, we have options to reach of the 
uh, strengths in another mechanical properties that we need to reach according to standard. And the Western company going to in other solutions to using all the alternative cement will be based on the different type of the product and produce of the new type of the green concrete. Our materials, our technology will be using for our products, it's geopolymer technology. You can see here it's very old buildings, Egyptian pyramids. Why? It will be first questions. I'm a civil engineer and my first question was why it's a new building when we're using all the high performance concrete, it's compressive strength 80 MPA, 100 MP. We still need to starting to repair of them after a very short period of this uh, times. Comparative to this type of the buildings, a couple thousand years ago, the building of these amazing uh, 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 constructions, and nothing not happy with them. No problems, the point of the durability. Uh, Professor David Dovich, a French uh, scientist, starting to research and try to analyze what are the materials people are using for building all the pyramids. A pyramid, it's, a, it's a, a cast concrete, it's not natural stone. According to chemical analysis, they go to the conclusion that a major component of the uh, pyramid uh, constructions it's aluminosilicate materials and alkaline materials. In this point, starting with the large research about the development of the materials will be similar to Egyptian pyramids. According to modern uh, uh, science language, we talk about of the geopolymer as inorganic polymer materials. Sometimes we call this type of the materials alkyl activate cement or aluminosilicate activate cement. For production of this type of the materials, we using all the different type of the pozzolanic materials like flash, metacolloid, silica fume, a plus ferrous slab. Every one of them has a, a source for aluminosilicate materials. But what is very important for us is to have an amorphous phase in uh, amorphous alumina and amorphous silica only in these conditions uh, this product will be uh, rate. Some statistic information about the calendar. Canada produce annually uh, close to the 4.7 million tons of uh, coal flash and only 31% of the flash is recycled. Another uh, options or another uh, source for aluminosilicate materials could be glaze, kaolinic glaze, eolitic glaze, or dolomitic, or different type of the volcanic deposit like truss, tuff, or buzzard. They can option to using of different secondary sources like ceramic waste materials, tiles, sanitary porcelain, different type of the slug. Blasphemous slug, steel slug, copper slug, municipal waste slug, different type of the ash, hard coal ash, soft coal ash, sewage and sludge ash, different type of the bio ash. We can option to use a, 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 a all the uh, uh, brick scrap and uh, uh, glass waste. For activations of the our products, we use. <coughs> at uh, uh, basic alkaline materials like it's sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and uh, uh, water glass. A process for preparation of the, this type of the polymer very easy. <coughs> it's like you prepare all the standard uh, cement paste. And for preparation of the cement paste, we're using the water. In our concept, we're using all the alkaline solutions. We prepare the alkaline solution, adding the alkaline solution to pozzolanic materials, mixing and casting. And the results of these uh, reactions you see today in green garbage. Geopolymerization process includes all the three basic steps. First of them is desalination, gelations, and transformations with formation of final gel. Geopolymer uh, materials has a different structures. It's explained on the 
different properties of the materials. We talk about uh, the polysilate, polysilate uh, silox, and polysilate silox structure. Why we need to use it called the gel polymer? A civil engineer it will be some uh, say to me, it's this material is green, it will be not enough. I would like to reach special uh, properties for this type of uh, materials. Geopolymer materials has very high URL strength. We have options uh, reach up to 60 MPa uh, uh, during all the one hours, two hours. Geopolymer materials has very low permeability product. It has a high uh, pH levels, has very good uh, resistance to, uh, to, uh, to chloride, good exit and free stow and fire resistance. It's relative uh, cheaper materials and full eco-friendly. Different factors could be effect on a geopolymerization process. One of them is activity of editing. As I said before, we're using all the different types of the byproduct. We must be sure they include enough content of amorphous materials. Another very important point for choice of the type of uh, additive we're using for polymerizations, it's a relation between silica to alumina and silica and alumina to alkaline uh, materials ratio. Additional point is the effect of the water to solid ratio. However, comparative to normal concrete, we are using at water some source for reaction, for hydration process. For geopolymer materials, we don't need water for reactions. We are using water only for received at uh, requirement workability of the materials. It means for production of the geopolymer concrete, we have options to save at water. Usually, I give it a couple numbers. If you talk about production, one cubic meter, 1,000 liters of, of the concrete, typically we use close to 200, 250 liters of the water. Compared to, to the gel polymer materials, we talk about of the, maybe 30 liters of the water. It's a huge difference. So, as function of the uh, uh, silica to aluminum molar ratio, we have options to receive different type of the uh, geopolymer materials, from standard building materials up to high-tech ceramic materials. If I concentrate on uh, uh, ACM technology products, ACM uh, geopolymer materials, we talk about of materials with high compressive strength up to 1,005 uh, MPa high resistance to different high concentrated uh, uh, acid uh, solution, stable to high temperature, compatible with uh, different type of the waste. It's very important point. When I'm talking about the normal cement, I said we have its limitations by using all the recycled materials as, uh, for replacement of the aggregate. We don't have these problems in geopolymer materials. We have options to use 100% of the recycled glass. We have option to use 100% recycled concrete. A question is which type of the concrete we would like to receive, which properties, which final uh, uh, properties uh, uh, we would like to reach. Geopolymer is uh, low weight materials too. It's self-leveling product and low crack potential product. And very good examples, it's uh, uh, ashcrete floor and green garbage, usually. If you're looking on the concrete floor, you recognize a lot of cracks, but it's not happy in geopolymer materials. If you talk about the geopolymer uh, product, you have options to use of them for different applications. From ready mix concrete, precast concrete, it's a, a different type of the composite materials in other applications for soil stabilizations or uh, we can use it as a geopolymer technology for uh, base stabilizations too. I would like to concentrate now about uh, our ash grid concrete, what we exactly done and uh, green garbage. We use all the concrete, uh, a binder type, it was flash based uh, uh, geopolymer materials. For this project, we're using all the two types of the aggregate, natural aggregate and recycled glass. A fibers, for this project, we choose uh, to using all the recycled uh, FRP uh, uh, fiber. 
uh, properties. If we talk about uh, the normal concrete for flooring, <coughs> compressive strength 3032 MPa. Our materials we're using here, we have at 45 MPa, flexural strength 7 MPa, and not uh, cracking uh, floor. I'd like to present to the our movie, how it was done in Green Garage. <laughs> 